Ziba Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are taking on every dragon throughout Hyrule, all four of them. Of course, we have the three from Breath of the Wild, Faroche, Nidra, and Dinral, but the new dragon, the light dragon, we've had a lot of experience with lately. Of course, it has the Master Sword atop of it, so we'll be doing everything we can to get to that point. But with that being said, I did already try to record bits of this episode, and I lost a footage somehow. I think it just sort of got corrupted. I did what I could to recover it, but it didn't really work. So I already sort of have some of the items from the first three dragons, uh, but we're just gonna take them on again. We'll get some extra items from them and I'll still show how they work and everything. It's very similar to Breath of the Wild, but luckily I didn't get to the light dragon, so you guys didn't really miss anything. So yeah, I figure we'll focus at first on the three dragons we saw in Breath of the Wild, Faroche, Nidra, and Dinral. Then we'll climb atop the light dragon, of course, as part of the recovering the hero sword mission. That should be really cool. So yeah, let's get started with the first one, which I think was near, um, where is it? Kokiri Village or Kakariko, whatever it is. Kakariko Village, there should be a dragon flying around here. I think that one's gonna be Nidra. So let's go find out. So we're here at Kakariko Village and you can actually see the light dragon flying around. Not exactly what we're after, but good to know that it's there. Um, I think instead, of course, this is where we can usually find, I think, Nidra. It is the ice one. And it will usually fly around Kakariko Village, but then go into the giant hole over here. So I wanna look around because I think that's really how all the dragons work, is usually there is a hole they will enter through and then they'll go through it and then pop back out and sort of loop around over and over again. So that's sort of what we're looking out for. It might actually be easier to go to Mount Lanairu, but I guess it was sort of good to just take a quick peek to make sure they're not over here. So I'm sort of just falling down the Nidra Snowfield Chasm at the moment. And why I'm doing that is that there should be somewhere down here, the dragon, or at least should be somewhere along. So I'm just sort of waiting to see where it's gonna show up. Uh, and I might just have to be a bit more patient with it because I do not see it in here, but it's gotta be along somewhere. So I'll just sort of be continually poking around. Uh, I haven't really been down here too much, but it's gonna be easier to wait for it up above. I just wanted to see if we couldn't catch a glimpse of it. I did not see it up above here, but once again, it should be flying between these two spots. I don't think it's from over this way, uh, but I'll just keep searching and sooner or later, we will find this dragon. So with enough looking around, I have found Nidra sort of flying above Kakariko Village right over there. You can see I made a marker for it. So we just have to fly over there and try to get on top. I might use these Sky Islands as a little bit of a way to launch ourselves over as we get past the North Nukluta Sky Archipelago. But yeah, so sort of looking around above and below ground until we finally find it. I'm hoping I can actually get there in time. It might've just been better to wait on the floor, but obviously if I can get a little bit of an advantage, that's always good because we only have so much time to defeat it before uh, it goes back underground. Which I mean, we're not even trying to defeat it. You can't do damage to it or anything, but you can at least, you know, get some stuff out of it. So that's what we're sort of focused on is getting on top of it and collecting what we can. All right, gotta go a little bit lower. Then I'll let my stamina restore on this really quickly. And then we're off again. Whoa, here we go, here we go. I mean, we're getting there, and Tulin is helping out a lot, so that's always good. Just gotta keep moving, though. Yeah, we're getting a whole lot closer now, so I don't know if it just got out of that one pit. It might have. I and mean, then Kakarika Village is where? Right over that way. Well, that's actually Sora's domain, so a little bit closer. Sometimes it can be hard to make up the details from way up this way, but we are getting closer. Just a little bit more, and once we do, there should be like an upward draft. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Getting a whole lot closer. So this, of course, is the first dragon we're running into, Nidra, the ice dragon. And because of that, I do have my sort of cold gear on at the moment, which is nice, because it gets really, really frozen around here. So there should be, if we walk along it a little bit, some of the uh, different sort of spikes and stuff that we can get. We don't want to attack it just yet, and I'll explain why soon enough, but okay, yeah, right over here we have the Shard of Niger Spike, which, like I said before, we because of the footage, it doesn't show that this is a new item, but it is. Um, an incredibly hard stone mined from a spike on Niger's back. It is very destructive when fused to a weapon, and it also imbues that weapon with the power of ice. So this could be really great for fusing stuff, and if I were to attack, um, or just swing or use my arrow against um, Nigel right now, they would 
drop something, but they only drop like one item out of the three that you can get, or three or four. So I just wanted to be careful that I get something that I actually need. So if I were to attack its scale right now, it should drop uh, one of these things right here. So this is Nigra skill. If we attacked its back right now, this is what we get. This precious scale contains super cooled air inside. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power and it can be cooked, but just eating it seems like a waste. So we could do that, obviously we don't want to, so because once we do that, I don't think anything else will drop and then you have to wait, I guess, I think a good amount of time before you can get anything more. So I'm just running around and trying to get these spikes, but then we'll try for something else. I might try for the claw. For this one, I think that would be good. So let's head over here, grab some of this as well. And what about over this way? Not too much, whoa, don't fall off, don't fall off. <laughs> Very scary. <laughs> Come on, like, okay, let's just fly around a little bit. I think that we've gotten most of the spikes, so, I mean, I have a good chunk of them, so I don't know if I need a ton more, but it was still good to do that. So yeah, let's fly over to one of the dragon's claws. I feel like that's what I wanna go for. These things can be a little bit tough to hit, so. Just flying over a little bit. And then let's see first, look, if I hit this like this, Whoa, whoa, okay, let's try to grab that really quickly. Okay, whoa, it fell quick. Where did it go? Over there. Okay, come on, come on, can I get it, can I get it? Oh, uh, baby. Okay, hit the ground, bomb able just to land right here, and boom, get something new. This is Nigra's claw. This valuable claw was once nearly frozen. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It can be cooked or sold for some rupees. That is so cool. So Niger's gonna keep flying. We could go back up there, but like I said, we can't really get anything else from it for now. If we were to come back later, obviously we just run into it throughout our adventures. We'll do that. I do wanna hold these though, um, if possible, just so that I can make sure there's no photo that needs to be taken. I don't think I've checked for that yet. So where did they go? Up there around somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I just gotta find them and then see if we can take a photo at all. Okay, I'm dropping those. Do any of these. Okay, the uh, Shard of Niger Spike right there. Very cool to see that. And then our album is full, but it looks like the other stuff either doesn't require a photo or is this good, so that's good to see. I'll pick all this up then and we'll keep moving. We'll try to move on to another dragon now to see if we can't find them and uh, get some more gear from them, some more goodies and stuff, that'll be great. So we are off to looking for the next dragon for Roche. We are in the southwest corner of Hyrule and it should be popping out of that over there. There's, there's of course another Gliok. That'll be another episode. A different kind of dragon, right? Um, but yeah, it should be popping out of here and then flying all the way over to this one. Then it goes underground and does the same thing. So my hope is that I can catch it above ground again. Um, my best bet might just be waiting at the surface of it. So that's what I figure I'll do for right now. If not anything else, we'll hop down there to take a quick look to see if we can't see it. But from what I could tell when I was looking around, I really didn't see it. So it's gotta be around somewhere. Hopefully we can get it. Right now though, we'll just get a little bit closer. But yeah, it's definitely worth getting these dragon pieces. You know, if not anything else, it's completion for the game, but. It's also just very fun to experience being on top of these dragons and everything. Such a scary creature over there. <laughs> so scary. Um, we're almost there. Like I said, I don't really see too much going on right now, but eventually there's supposed to be a dragon popping out of here. I don't know what the rotation time for the loop is, but it is pretty long. And I think in Breath of the Wild, you could sort of like take a nap and they would pop up at certain times. I don't think it works that way anymore. It's just sort of, no matter if you like take a sleep or something. Okay, this is technically new. This is the East Gerudo Chasm. Whoa, we're taking another dive. I don't see it quite yet. How scary would it be if it's just, you know, popping up in front of us as we're heading down? So I just wanna get low enough that I can maybe get a good look around and I don't see it quite yet. So that probably means it's pretty far off. But, oh, there you are. Okay. And is it heading towards us right now or away? That looks like the tail of it. Sort of difficult to tell there's a frox below us. Oh no, I can't fight you right now. It looks like it's sort of flying away. I'm so scared. Ah! Okay, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not gonna fight you. We're gonna wait into the wait into the surface. For sure. For sure. I'm gonna wait at the surface for this guy to pop up. It'll be way easier to fight them 
um, up on the up on the the surface that it would be down here, but there's this giant fox is trying to take us out. Okay, while we're waiting for the dragon to crawl out of that pit, it looks like there might be some stuff to do around here. So, we got this guy to help out. Let's go ahead and just knock you out. What weapon do I have? I have the uh, the forest horus bow right now, so I need to. Just switch to something else. Help you out. You okay? Looks like you are. Phew, I'm saved. Yeah. Thanks. Things were looking a little dicey, but you pulled me out of the fire. Ooh. As a chef, there's no better way for me to thank you than with the food. I hope this tickles your taste buds. Ooh, a brand new one, crunchy fried rice. Highly in rice fried up with, with meat in high quality oil. Each bite is packed with toasty flavor. That does sound delicious. We meet again. I'm here because I heard there are caves in this area. You do, I take it? No? In any case, I'm happy to see you and ready to share some more cave info. Oh. Caves are tricky things. Sometimes passages or even the entrance can be completely blocked by rocks. If that happens, the only way through is through. You just have to smash those pesky rocks. Oh. Regular swords and spears don't do you any good though. You'll need a hammer-like implement with a blunt tip. So it never hurts to be prepared just to smash some rocks before you enter a cave. <laughs> and hey, a blocked path isn't all bad. Sometimes you'll even find ore in the rocks you've smashed. Oh. Hope our, I hope our paths cro will cross again somewhere. So long and safe travels. All right, well, thank you very much. Don't think we need to grab any of this. We could cook some of our own food while we wait too. I don't know how that really works out in terms of like, you know, making the most of our time, but maybe I do need some more food. <laughs> Uh, for right now, I wouldn't mind just, you know, a couple of things that might help really restore our health. Doing something like that, of course, gives us a lot of, uh, just like heart restoration, which is really what I need right now. So I think I'm just gonna keep with that for at least a little bit, but then we'll add some other stuff here soon. Cause sometimes I just need like a health boost. I don't need any kind of crazy status, whatever. I just need a little bit of extra health. So there we go. Got a couple of those. I think, um, or take a look around. What other things can we do? Increase our strength. That could be nice. So if we did something like that, maybe I could up my damage a little bit. Yeah, attack up for three minutes. There we go. Just a couple of other extra dishes while we wait. I don't know if there's really too much more to do in this area, but we're just waiting for that dragon to pop up. It has to happen sooner or later. We got some dazzle fruit over here. I could definitely make the most of. We haven't explored this area too much. I've been saving it for later. Of course, a lot of you have been asking, you know, like how we plan on sort of going about things. Once we get all the main quests done, I figure we'll go and try to do a lot of the side quests and adventuring around Hyrule. So I think before we're done the game, can I break these? Yep. I don't know if I can. Wait. There we go. I didn't have anything in it, but I can break it. Um, but yeah, we'll go around Hyrule and explore and do a lot of side adventures before we're done, like the final battle of the game or whatever it's gonna be. But uh, we got a swift violet over here. Ooh, not bad. Okay, I'm just waiting for the dragon now. All right, this dragon is finally emerging from the depths, and I'm not gonna waste any time. We'll just go ahead and hop right on onto it as soon as I can, just like this. And if I take a look at her inventory really quickly, um. I think the same deal, I just wanna see exactly what dragon related things we have for it. I think we already have the spikes, of course, because those were sort of the easiest thing to come by. But on top of that, down this way, this was of course, what is this, Dinral or Feroz? This is Feroz. So we have uh, Dinral's uh, scale, but we have Feroz's fang. So we've already attacked its mouth um, and got that. So that's an extremely hard chip of one of Feroz's fangs. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It can also be used in cooking. So we'll try to get something else from it this time, probably just its scale. But maybe I really should save that for some other time because of how much easier it is to get. For right now, I'm just sort of flying up with them until they sort of go a little bit more horizontal. Because <laughs> it's just flying straight up at the moment, which definitely makes it a little bit harder to keep up with. But it is trying to attack us with these lightning balls. So maybe just to stay safe and not lose all my gear, I should switch over to something that will guard us against electricity if we have anything. Um, I think I have at least one. Yeah, the rubber armor here. And then I don't think I'll need it, but maybe some stormy weather attacks. Oh, now we're cold. Okay, don't want that. We'll just go back to this. Well, actually, keep with the boots. Yeah, okay. I'm overthinking this and underthinking it at the same time. There we go. That should be good enough. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure where exactly we attack this big guy to get the horn, but I guess, you know, the thing that looks like a big horn. Um. Oh no, what are we about to get struck by? 
one of our pieces of gear. Apparently, is it our bow? It's our bow. Okay, we'll switch over to the Forest Dweller's bow. That's not what I meant to do, but I get something. Okay, we get Ferocious Scale. I guess we're getting that one. This pressure scale is constantly charged with powerful electricity attached to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. Cooking it is possible, but probably wasteful. All right, so we got at least one new dragon piece, so. And of course, over here we get the same deal. We get ourselves some of Ferocious Spike, which if we take a look, an incredibly hard stone mine from a spike on Ferocious Back. It is very destructive when fused with a weapon, it, and it also imbues that weapon with the power to shock. Very cool. So the only thing is that if I, you know, try to attack this stuff, it really doesn't do anything. Like you can't damage the dragons. You can't knock anything out of them more than the one thing every once in a while. From what I can tell, it's every 10 minutes. So we could, you know, make our way back to the other dragons eventually, but it's more so the hassle of like finding them again. But I do want to maybe take a picture of one of these spikes. If I can find any more of them. Right now it doesn't seem like there's any more on these spots, but over here. Okay, so let's just make sure I have a picture of that spike if I need it. Or maybe it needs to be knocked free. Weird, I, I got a picture of the other one. Maybe just like once it's on the ground. We'll, we'll deal with that soon enough, but. Okay, getting over this way, anything more? But yeah, from here on out, after today's episode, if we do find the dragons just on our adventures, it, it, we can sort of justify the moment just to stop and attack some, some, some of them to get more pieces. That is definitely something I'll be doing just to make sure I get a little bit of everything from these dragons, but it looks like that's it. So yeah, Feroche dealt with pretty easily. It's always the hard part is actually running into them, which if we do that sort of by mistake on our adventures, that's one thing. To do it very intentionally takes a lot more effort just to find out exactly where they are and make sure they're in a good position to actually attack. So I'm glad that we were able to get that. Let me drop one of these. And just make sure that I can get the picture of it. Okay, it's running away from me. You get back here. Shard of Ferocious Spike right there. Very cool. So I'm glad I got that picture. I think that means we're gonna tackle one more dragon, of course, before the light dragon, which will be um, Dinral way up this way in the Northeast. So let's take a look for that one. It's gotta be around somewhere. So I'm flying through the Northeast of Akala and I think I've already spotted it. It's flying away from me right now though, so I definitely need to hustle over there. I think we'll go to the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower, launch up from that one, and just try to get to it as soon as possible, because I really don't want it to get away from me. All right, there's the dragon, and I think it's, is it heading out of that or heading into it? Okay, I think that's its head right there. Let me fly down a little bit more. It is, so luckily we actually caught it at the perfect time where it's heading out of that portal. That's great. So I will just try to fly over to it as soon as possible. It might be faster to dive for just a little bit. There we go. Just trying to catch up. The problem is it's flying in the opposite direction of us right now, so that can definitely provide a little bit of a challenge. Okay, come on, come on. But this will be, of course, the last dragon, Dinral. We do have photos of all three of them, so I haven't really worried about that too much, but I think the same thing, I'll have to check to see what we have. I think we have the scale for Dinral. So if I were to get anything else from it, that's great too. I mean, we got the claw from Nydra before, so I definitely wanna show what it's like to get the, the, the fang from one of these dragons. So I think that's what we'll focus on. If we can catch up to them, that is. They are surprisingly a little speedy. All right, let's keep it going. You can see a lot around here that I've yet to get to. I mean, I think I got to that one uh, outpost over there, the, the stable, but I definitely haven't gotten to the, the maze thing over there. And of course, there's another lab off that way. All right, can't worry about that stuff right now. We're gonna travel up the body of the dragon ourselves just by getting to the tail of it, I hope. We're almost there. There's a little bit more. Oh, and we're burning up fast. So let's make sure that we have the proper gear on. I think for right now, the flame guard would be a good idea. And I also have to change my weapon to something that will not burn up. And I guess same thing with uh, this. Okay, don't don't actually fire, because I don't want another scale. Ooh, there we go. Is this one also burning up? I, I didn't change, that's why. Okay, I think we're good. Put that away, and let's make our way down the back of Dinral here. Of course, the first thing we'll be looking for is a couple of spikes off Dinral's back, if possible. That would be good. All right, come on, come on. I don't see any just yet, but I'm sure sooner or later we'll run into some. 
But yeah, it's still just good to get all these different dragon pieces. Of course, we're looking to 100% the game. We're gonna need a little bit of everything from the game, so. Okay, here's one right here. So this is a shard of Dinral Spike, an incredibly hard stone mined from a spike on Dinral's back. It is very destructive when fused to a weapon, and it also imbues that weapon with the power of flame. That's great. So I'll try to get as many of these as we can, just as we have all the other spikes. Sometimes it feels like there's more spikes in other situations. Oh no, okay. Tool one sort of scaring me with that one. And of course, Dinner all sort of attacking us with the flame here, but because we have this gear on, it really isn't too big of a deal. Got some of that, a little bit more on this side. Okay, not so bad. Uh, you can let go, Link. Oh, don't fall, though. <laughs> Do not fall. Okay, that's it for that one. We're almost at the very front, so I think this is where we'll hop off. And what I wanna focus on, like I said before, is going to be right up here. So the dragon will occasionally open their mouth, and when that happens, we wanna attack the tongue. There we go. Not the mouth itself, for whatever reason. Okay, and I got it. This is the Shard of Dinral's Fang. An incredibly hard piece of fang from Dinral. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It can also be cooked into a meal. So that is fantastic. We are able to get a little bit of everything from each of the three normal dragons throughout Hyrule. Of course, that was all sort of familiar stuff since we have taken those dragons on. Um, in Breath of the Wild, but now it's time for the new dragon, of course, that we got the location of in the last episode. But for right now, let's just land down here, because I want to hold this, and then up here, hold this one, and make sure that we just have a photo of all three of these things. Okay, I just need to make sure it's not gonna roll down the hill, but we have a shard of Dinaral's spike, very cool. So we have a photo of all three of those dragon elements, or whatever you could call them. I don't need to take a picture of the other things, haven't been around here too much, as you can see, but we'll explore at some other point in time. Now our goal, of course, is to go to our adventure log, and over here you can see recovering the hero sword. Our goal, of course, is to find that sword which is moving throughout Hyrule. Now that we completed the Deku Tree quest, we can see where it is at all times. If I take a look at my map, we can track it down this way. Oh no, yeah, it's gonna be up here. So right now it's sort of flying through this area. I guess I could try just from, um. The room from Awakening, or the room of Awakening, might be a good spot, actually. Yeah, sure, let's go for it. Let's go to the room of Awakening and see if we can't make our way on to the Light Dragon. All right, and back to the room of Awakening. I don't really know the best way to get around, but maybe back over here. Oh, hey, we got ourselves a Korok Seed. That's nice. Yeah, you found me. So I don't know if they'll say anything about uh, Korok Forest anymore. Hmm, I heard that the Korok Forest was all weird for a while there. But I guess now it's back to normal. That makes me happy, yay! I'm glad you're happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. Let's head out of here and see if just from the top of this whole area, we can find that dragon. I mean, I would hope so. Have I been atop of here too much? Actually, now I'm just curious to see if I can't find any more Korok seeds. And I think for right now, not gonna be much. I don't see the dragon just straight ahead, which probably means it's a lot lower. Oh, there it is, way down there. So we definitely did a little bit more than we needed to to actually catch it. I think the dragon flies up higher before you get that quest done. So that's why it was so difficult to, uh, to sort of see it most of the time. But now that we've gotten that done, it's much easier <laughs> you to see it over here. And I haven't been on top of this dragon yet. So this is a fully new experience. The other three I did and then I lost the footage. But for this, this is an all new experience. And look at the glow from here. It's so pretty. I can't wait. We've been waiting so long to be on top of this thing. I think I'll do the same thing where I'll start from the tail and make my way over. Oh man, but that glow isn't just an ordinary glow. That is the glow of the Master Sword waiting on top. Zelda has brought it all the way here from centuries and centuries ago. Oh man, okay, here we go. We're almost on it. And I don't know if this thing is gonna have its own spikes. I'm not really sure how this one's gonna work, but uh, I'm just gonna keep traveling on top of it like this as much as I can. Uh, and I guess, whoa, 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 be careful. I suppose I should get one of the more difficult shards at first. I shouldn't just get like the scale. Uh-oh, what is that noise? Is somebody fighting us from up here? Maybe it's the, the dragon itself? I mean, of course, it's technically Zelda, but 
Zelda has lost herself in a way. Okay, looks like we got something right here. This is gonna be a Shard of the Light Dragon Spike, an incredibly hard stone mined from a spike on the Light Dragon's back. It is very destructive when used to fuse to a weapon, and it also imbues that weapon with healing power. Whoa, a weapon that heals, sounds really nice. So I'll definitely grab as many of these as I can find as we continue up the Light Dragon. And I think I'll go for either the horn this time. We haven't gotten one of the horns yet. I'm pretty sure that's like a thing we can get. So that's what I wanna try for this time. Not the scale, not the claw, not the, the fang from the mouth. I wanna get a horn piece, if possible. I'm pretty sure that's one, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just three. Okay, I'll grab this. And then we're at the front already. It really does sort of resemble Zelda the blonde hair, for sure. Okay, so let me just try to hit it like that, and then it was right here, the light dragon's horn. A horn chipped off the light dragon. Its gentle glow has a charming effect, and it has a mysterious healing power when attached to a weapon. So I've switched into some gear that might be a little bit more fitting for this. Let's go ahead and grab the master sword. Come on. Come on, can we get it? Whoa, hold on, Link. Oh man, we gotta hold it. Okay, here we go. I hope we have enough stamina for this. Whoa, this is burning through it fast. And the light dragon is really trying to get us off. I really hope that we're strong enough. He's holding on with everything he's got. <laughs> come on, come on. Ooh, we're already down to the first wheel. If only somehow Zelda can hear us through this dragon and just release the sword just a little bit longer. That's all we have, are we gonna have enough? I think we do. Come on, Link. Whoa. What is happening? We're flying off somewhere. Uh-oh. Whoa, where are we? We're like way up in the clouds, but it's so shimmery. So peaceful. The Master Sword does look a little damaged still or something. Whoa. She let go. This is our chance. Let's go ahead and pull the sword out. After so long, we have finally retrieved the master sword. But it wasn't easy getting here. There was so much sacrifice. But it sheds a whole new skin and underneath is a fully fixed, a fully healed Master Sword. I can't believe it. Zelda's sacrifice will not be forgotten. We will use this sword to fight the Demon King. Link. Link. Master Sword, your sword. She is the key to destroying the Demon King. He defeated her before, but a long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King, my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. I pray this sword reaches you in the future. Rest easy knowing that it has. Oh man, so emotional. And in a way, Zelda is still here with us. 
I mean, hopefully she doesn't have to stay as a dragon forever now, but... We know what we must do. So what happens now? I guess we go back down and we do something. We gotta be able to find the Demon King now and take them on with the Master Sword and whoa. Where are we? Goodbye. Thank you for your help. I really hope we can turn her back into normal Zelda soon. But we have gotten the Master Sword, the legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its corruption was healed by its time with the Light Dragon. The blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the Demon King. And with that, we have completed recovering the hero sword. And, ooh, memories have been added to the memories lock. All right, so we're here at the Great Sky Island. There's so much there. I think this is our last memory. Whoa, it is. So we've gotten every memory in the game. This is memory number 18, Zelda's Wish. Zelda clutches the decayed master sword close to her chest and calls to Link, hoping that the sword, which she's suffusing with her new power, can find a way to him somehow which it finally did. It just took us 70 episodes. All right, so let's see Um, over this way. What did we just complete? We completed recovering the hero sword. You found the master sword with the white dragon soaring in the skies. The legendary sword that seals the darkness has returned to your hand along with Zelda's wish. That's amazing. So now that we have the master sword, it's a big question of what do we do next? The game must have dropped us off here for a reason. We are at the entryway of the Temple of Time. If we take a look at our main quests, I mean, our goal are a mystery in the depths and find Princess Zelda. Uh, in a way, we have found her. She's flying off as a dragon right now. So I guess the big question would be, how do we do anything more? Are we supposed to go through here and maybe find a way to get Zelda back normally? I really have no way to know besides hopping in. So I think in the next episode we'll explore the Temple of Time or do something. I'm not quite sure, but for now I am quite curious. You can see we have the Master Sword here. It is the Revitalized Sword of Legend. We can swing it around. It doesn't seem like it has damage associated with it, which definitely has me curious. If we were to go to um, our gear over here, and just do this by attack power, get something like this Gibdo Bone, drop that, and then just fuse it. Would it let me? It does. Whoa, plus 40 damage. But it still doesn't say how much damage it has in total. Whoa, it disappeared. Oh, it's back. Okay, so that is super odd. We'll have to figure that out at some point, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.